What is going on guys? Today is the day getting this ACL surgery. So it's like 6.20 in the morning and uh, maybe like 6.30, it doesn't matter. Taking Murphy out. I've been trying to take him out more often lately. Of course, Allison and I switch back and forth, but since I'm not gonna be able to take him out for a while, I've been trying to take him out more and more so she doesn't have to since once I'm on crutches, I'm not gonna be wanting to take him out. But getting uh, my, my final few Time's going up and down the stairs without crutches for the time being in. So, yep, yeah, we got surgery. Our check-ins at 8.30, surgery at 10. So, getting after it now. Hey, boy, sit. Stay. Murphy, sit. Stay. Okay, come on. Good boy. Seven twelve, and we're in the car ready to go so um, like I told you guys in the last few videos we actually scheduled with a different uh, surgery center than the one I was talking to same doctor and everything but we're going up to Boulder so it's about an hour from here so we're leaving and uh, get up there with some time to check in and everything so we have Allison of course and uh, she'll be taking care of me when we're done so get on the road and we are here some annoying crummy traffic later but we are at the center for surgery so get checked in and we'll be waiting for a bit as per usual but pretty crazy um just want to be enjoying walking right now because it's going to be a bit painful for a few months here so making the most of it excited to get this all taken care of though that's for sure all right we are all set up now we're just playing the waiting game until uh the surgeon is ready to take me back so they shaved up my knee which was already pre-shaved because of the kt tape I, I run but they cleaned it up some so just kicking back and relaxing now what do you think i think it's gonna go great oh. Again, just excited to uh, get it done, get physical therapy going, and get on the road to recovery. So, you know, the sooner we get it done, the sooner we're back on the bike. So that's what I just keep telling myself because uh, last night I was pretty bummed thinking about it. Just um, I think the realization of how long I'm going to be off the bike started to hit me. You know, I, I I know how long six to nine months is, but just like whatever, whatever. And then the night before, it's like this is going to be a this is going to be a while and this is going to be a recovery and stuff. So we're going to do everything we can, uh, do the physical therapy as best as we can and push it um, without overdoing it of course but get everything handled and get it strong for for next season I guess waiting for the surgery and just playing some mad skills MX I got out of it for a long time so I'm like a level 52 or something so everyone's whooping my ass because uh, I don't have the best bike but getting back into it my username's return of do if you guys want to uh, race me and beat me because uh, I'll have a lot of downtime here. So just playing some Mad Skills MX while I'll wait for the surgery. I appreciate that, I'm double checking, but it's always funny when they have to make sure they have the correct knee. Can you imagine getting done and being like, yeah, we fixed the knee up, it was nearly not nearly as bad as we thought. And then it was the knee that didn't have an issue and that'd be a bummer. <laughs> um, just chilling here. Um, I guess it's not really a good thing, but I've gone through this so much that I'm not nervous, it's just, almost routine i don't think that's right but i've had a few surgeries i think like nine total um including like hardware going in and coming back out and stuff so not too uh concerned or worried about it just uh ready to chill out and get the medication to fall asleep all right last one ears tucked you're untucked we're going tucked for it <laughs> if for some reason this video seems a little different i'm actually editing on my phone which i've never done just put the gopro clip straight on there and then i'm just chopping them and stuff so hopefully the audio is okay i know it's pretty quiet through some of these parts but um i can't really like add captions and stuff like i'd like to but with the leg and everything i really don't want to be sitting at the desk this is really the best situation but so editing here got my ice machine watching some netflix got some coffee and some apples and 
sleepy dog and then Allison is working from home over here so she can take care of me as need be but just want to let you guys know that's what's going on with this so hi how you feeling <laughs> it hurts yeah. I'm super sleepy mm -hmm. it hurts but it's what one o'clock things uh, yeah. I think we're good but it hurts a lot so oh man I'm excited to get home and sleep some more but it hurts a lot up into my hip and stuff but I guess this is the first step for that road to recovery so <laughs> oh that's the okay How, can I give you one too cool got some water Treat me right here. <laughs> Alright guys, we're just waking up in the recovery room. It's 105, so surgery's just two hours like they thought. It hurts a lot. They're gonna give me some value and stuff, but up into my hip and even just like moving my foot left to right. We're in a good amount of pain, but first step towards recovery so get some water here and uh fun stuff so that's the only thing that hurts is like the hip down to the knee that muscle uh, yeah I mean, the calf hurts a good amount too hmm maybe this will relax all of that awesome mm -hmm. <laughs> You, do you remember what song you were singing like 15 minutes ago? Nice. But you thought it was like in sync or Backstreet Boys. Maybe that's what you can do in your downtime, is just become a TikTok. That's a happy the move. <laughs> TikToker? What do you call it? Um, Allison said I already updated a few times, so it, it hurts. It hurts pretty good. The armpit of the knee. Um, but we're starting to wake up. We got some water. It hurts pretty dry. Um, they were able to sew the meniscus, which is great, because just salvage as much as possible, but that will mean longer on the crutches initially, so... That's where we're at, just waiting to wake up more and get released and then head on home and maybe get some barbecue or something. <laughs> so, that's where we're at. Um, what, what snack did you just request? I wanted some Teddy Grahams. They usually have graham crackers and stuff, but I need that little bit of cinnamon touch, so <laughs> hook me up some cinnamon, uh, Teddy Grahams and I'll be golden. <laughs> We'll get you some on the way home. <laughs> it's not Teddy Grahams, but I'll take it. <laughs> I've been awake for like half an hour and we're already back at it. Once upon a time, a young Dio was a cart pusher at Walmart 
And my favorite part of the day, my favorite part of the whole job was when someone would ride around one of those carts and leave them in the parking lot and I got to drive it back. But it's slightly less fun when you have to do it because of an ACL. But Allison just went over and returned it and she was all weird about it. But I bet she's gonna come back with a smile on her face. How was it? It was the most thrilling ride of my life. <laughs> Let's get one. Hell yeah. All right, we're getting around. We're gonna get some barbecue, my favorite. This is super silly, but to be straight up, you guys, the crutches, whatever, they suck. But you know, I had my wrist issues and you put all your pressure on your wrist. So it hurts my wrist to be on the crutches <laughs> for my ACL. <laughs> this car can wait, I'm on crutches <laughs> here. So we're making do though, but barbecue is gonna make everything better. And my mouth is dry as heck. We live on the third floor. This is a bummer. I've already had some of my friends be like, you guys don't have an elevator? I've never lived in an apartment complex that had an elevator. So I think once I get up there today, I'm gonna be up there for a, a few days. We're not coming back down. And this might not be the uh, doctor prescribed way, but it's actually a lot easier than using the crutches on the stairs. <laughs> All right, home sweet home, Murphy's <laughs> checking out the brace. Big old gnarly brace, and then we got like the ice machine thing. So you can see it's gonna plug in here. So rather than putting ice packs, it'll be like continuous ice. Um, I'm just wearing some boxers under here, but wanted you guys to see the brace. So Allison has been, <laughs> he's so mm -hmm. Allison has Hi. been taking good care of me, of course. Um, I ended up being really long, what time is it? Uh, almost it's like six. six. Uh, my glasses on, but um, so it was a long day, but we got everything handled, um, picked up the prescriptions, got some ice cream, got some barbecue, and um, yeah, so the road to recovery is truly starting now, but pretty gnarly brace. I have my post-op appointment, and then of course physical therapy. Um, they wanted me in earlier with physical therapy, but there were no openings, so hopefully we can get in a little bit sooner, because right now it's scheduled for the 11th, and they want to get me moving sooner than that. But um, the pain is wearing off some. It hurts the most on like obviously on the left leg, but like the back side, the armpit of your knee is kind of where it hurts the most. Um, and yeah, just the crutches are a pain in the butt. But luckily, like I said, Allison's taking care of me. I, at least until I go back to work, I have no reason to go up and down the stairs right now. So just going to uh, milk that as long as I can, but really appreciate you guys watching um, all the kind words. Excuse me, Murphy's <laughs> concerned, I think. All the kind words, um, comments on all my posts, direct messages, emails. You guys are so awesome. I truly appreciate you all. Thank you for sticking with me during this bummer time. But um, I'll do my best to keep some stuff, inter keep some entertaining content flowing and do what I can to keep interacted and engage with you guys. So I'm getting long winded. Just thank you so much. Truly support, truly appreciate all the support all you guys give me. It, it means the world to me. So. Um, thanks for watching and until next time as always take it easy if it's easy take it twice talk to you later